My name is Robert Mitrofan. I'm from Romania and I live in China since 2010. I am the chief representative of Business Romania, the first ever uh, Romanian NGO registered in China, focusing on uh, commerce and trade relations between our two countries. From commerce and trade of agricultural products and FMCGs to renewable projects, therefore, over the years, I witnessed significant changes in the business field in China. Changes which made possible for China to have a first-class business environment, the improvements in living conditions are quite obvious and it's easier now for companies to attract overseas talents due to the facilities and stimulus offered by the local governments through the implementation of their policies regarding residence, medical treatment, remuneration and so on. In the same time, I witnessed the implementation of global initiatives proposed by China beginning with 2013, such as Belt and Road Initiative Made in China 2025. All these international programs wouldn't be possible without a strong and healthy domestic business environment. The third plenary session of the 20th CCP Central Committee adopted a broad range of reform measures to be implemented over the next five years. The measures cover everything from the economy to fiscal policy, to social programs, and have the potential to reform the country's business and investment environment. The government adopted a decision on further deepening reform and promoting Chinese-style modernization. A decision proposing not less than 300 reform measures, which are to be implemented uh, by 2029, in a term of only five years. The reform measures keep the country on the same development trajectory with a focus on prudent uh, fiscal and monetary policy, gradual market opening, the strengthening uh, of supply chains, and the pushing for science and technology innovation, among others. Companies, investors, and other stakeholders should pay close attention to the measures proposed uh, for their respective fields and industries, as they provide a blueprint for the development of various aspects of the economic and regulatory environment. Let's not forget that by 2040, uh, the world needs uh, 45 million uh, EVs. If China will not invest in this field, then uh, I don't know which other country has the power and the resources to do this investment. It's uh, on top of the supply chain, but let's not forget that this supply chain is a global supply chain and there are other countries that they benefit all this investment. What we will see in the next five years as a result of the reforms is new quality productivity moving production and manufacturing up the value chain, accelerating new type industrialization, developing the modern service industry, and improving supply chain resilience. Uh, these are just few examples of a new quality productivity uh, initiated by China and by these reforms.